Hello. How are you doing? Hi. My name is Lucifer, and welcome to Shut In. Uh, you guys will probably be seeing this a day after the first episode, but I've actually taken like a three-day break from playing the first episode. I've, I've just taken a break from talking and recording in general, just because my jaw was hurting like heck. Now it's gotten better. It still hurts, but it's not as bad. I can talk properly without almost chewing up the, my the inside of my cheek. So that's fun. Anyways, let's get right back into the deep dark depths of being home alone in the dark where no one knows the hell that is to be shut in. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm trying to be cool. <laughs> I guess I can't be cool. What? No! I didn't save? God damn it! <laughs> Alright. Oh, no! 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 <laughs> I have to do everything all over again, I guess. Alright. Uh, I'll see you guys after I do everything again. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm back. That did not take as long as I had taken originally. Why did I take so long in the first uh, episode? I have no clue. Anyways, um, I did everything that I think I did last time. I put the rubbish in the kitchen bin. And I went to the basement first rather than the kitchen first. And I believe I need to go upstairs because I heard a weird noise upstairs or something like that. So let's go do that, I guess. Um, so I just finished the kitchen. And uh, last time I believe I died right after the kitchen or going to the basement. Where I went here um, and I tried to use a knife on the TV or something and then the sofa crashed on me. But I don't think any of my items will help me fix the sofa situation sofa situation I still can't talk and my cheeks starting to hurt more again great I like how I started this video off by saying that I'll be fine but nope nope pain is back fun fun wait why am I all the way here now anyways yeah so I think I need to go upstairs now because I heard a noise I think if I remember correctly so all right it is interesting because okay now I have two things to do I need to find something to deal with the TV and sofas as well as the boiler downstairs. I, I need to, I, I need something to grab the metal pipes in the boilers, I think. So probably need some like tongs or something. It's dark. The lights are acting up again. Of course they are. You just turn them on. That's a mark on my door. Did I miss someone marking my door? This reminds me of the Exodus thing from, um... Oh, right, the insects over here. No. Uh, in ancient Egypt, when Moses was there, people marked their doors with the, with lamb, lamb blood. Lamb's blood? Lamb's blood, yes. All right, let's go in my room now. Okay. I now see why it was marked because someone wanted to put to put on some RGB lights, turn into a proper gaming room just for me. Thank you. I, mean, I have RGB lights as well in my room, but it's very glitchy the the app at least, so it only works half the time, which is really weird. But hey, I'm not complaining. Oh, ah, I guess you like my bed. I don't know. Okay. I am mightily confused. Well, I guess I don't have a choice. Um, there's something moving inside? Sure, let's pull it right off. It looks like the lump in your mattress has gotten bigger. It's squirming around under the sheets. You should probably leave it alone. Touch it anyway. Poke it lightly, smack its heart, stroke it gently, leave it alone. Stroke it gently. La -da oh! Okay. What if the lump is it's not very friendly? It tore your spine right out of your throat. It must have been asleep before you really interrupted it. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. All right, it's not a friendly sponge. I don't know why I said sponge. It's not a friendly lump. 
Okay, so we gotta go uh, guns a blazing. That's why then that's why that's why we have the knife. I don't want to use a knife on this. I, I think I'm missing an item. I kind of oh I I threw the key last time. I think it, yeah I have the key. I threw it last time. But I didn't throw it this time. I, I, yeah I, I I'm trying to be smart. All right I will leave it alone. Oh oh oh. The knife's gone. That was messy. <laughs> I'm a mess anyways. But it looks like that the lump isn't a problem anymore. Oh, what are you? There's a knife sticking out of a lump in your bed. It, it doesn't seem to be in, in the best of shape. Pull it out. Sure. Obtained ruined knife, although there was a lot of resistance. And all the thick black sludge. It can't have been done... Um, it, it cannot have done the blade any favors. You may want to check on your knife. Check on my knife? Why? There's a faint noise coming from inside. There's some sort of thick black sludge everywhere. And you have no idea what it might be. You should probably check on it. How do I check on it? Excuse me? How do I just check on my knife? I am really confused. What does my black sludge knife do? What? I can hear a noise, but it sounds muffled. Oh. Really? Uh, Okay, I guess it worked with the oven, and I don't... Sure, I guess it would work with the socket, too, I guess. Okay, what? All right, then. You pry the plug socket away from the wall with one quick motion. It snaps off with a flash and a bang. It's a good thing you, were, you weren't touching it. A burning smell lingers in the air, although it still doesn't cover the weird hallway smell. There's a toothbrush roll and a nestled inside, wrapped in a cradle of stinking melted plastic. But it's completely clean. Reach for the true toothbrush. Yank it out. Let's go. Oh, I don't die. Oh. Okay. What was that? Sounds like it came from the bathroom. That doesn't seem like a good idea. You think. Open the door. You know what? Sure. Why not? Let's go inside. This is not the bathroom. This is the mirror room. I thought I... I uh, closed this room off, you know, from my own dimensional rift of a thing. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's a mirror that's... Oh, these are all mirrors that's been cracked. Lately Jack is super... Oh, looks for trouble. At least you're wearing shoes. <laughs> it would be very, very scary if I wasn't wearing shoes. Okay. Unlike the rest of the house, the sink seems to be in perfect working order. There isn't a scratch on that. You turn into the mirror and you gaunt, sickly face stares back. You barely recognize yourself these days. There are deep, dark creases all over your face. Sweat and dirt cling to every crack. It's a shameful sight, but it can be much worse than what's underneath. What's underneath? Am I okay? But you may as well try wash away. Scrub a dub dub. There's actually a book by, I think it's by Annette Blyton, called Rub a Dub Dub. It's, it's one of the Secret Series books. It's a pretty cool book. I recommend checking her books out. Uh oh. Clean or not, you're not great to look at. This is true. Thank you, game. You have finally accepted this. I am not a good thing to look at. At least when it was covered in dirt, you had an excuse. Maybe you shouldn't have bothered. But at least you washed your face. Congratulations? I guess. Okay. Thank you. Alright, so th everything else is normal here. Can go outside. But what does that do for me? Oh, toothbrush, toothbrush, toothbrush. I got the toothbrush. Or, no, 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 here we go. Your mouth is dry and fuzzy. Days of grime cover your teeth and tongue. You really sort it out. Brush your teeth, freshen up, let's go. No toothpaste, no soap, nothing. Just gonna scrub a dub dub away. Like I'm a mermaid. <laughs> what? What am I saying? You do the best you can, your mouth feels cleaner, but on the close inspection, the rot and decay are so severe. It would take a lot more to fix, to fix that more. You did mention that the in our insides is not as good. Am I rotting away like the house? That's a very deep metaphor. 
Better than nothing, I guess. Congratulations. Interesting. What if I use the l ruined key? The knife is completely ruined. The blade is far too dull and warped to be of any use. Why do you think it would be helpful? I mean, just look at it. H how do I look at it? I, I tried every... Um, I tried every single way of doing it. This thing is in block. What do you think the plunger is going to do? I don't know. Plunge away? Are you trying to set the, thing, set the thing on fire? Maybe. I might be a pyromaniac. You don't know that. Save it with your dustry structure, but you uh, failed to even scratch an uh, oddly pristine sink. Okay. Alright. I have no clue what else would work. Um. <laughs> of course. I can't afford to dismantle my house, but I can afford to apparently have thick uh, thing demons here. Alright, uh, I'm gonna keep my knife out just, just because it makes me feel safe, you know? But I don't know what else to do with anything. I don't have anything that could work, uh, that could help. Wait a minute, what if I use the knife on one of the mirrors, maybe? And take a closer inspection? That's that's what it means, maybe? Alright. Da da da, no. Okay. Yeah, I have absolutely no clue. Um, what do I do? I'll, t I'll take a look downstairs and see if I find anything. Wait a minute, I remember something about the notepad hitting the light. I remember talking about it in the first uh, first episode. I think I might I can use a lighter on the notepad because the right light now is ruined and I can't look at it anymore. So maybe I need to use this. Where are you? It's lighter. It would make a little more sense, I guess. Do I have the note? Oh yeah, okay. With the light from the flame, you can just about make out what's written on the notepad. But it's not. But it's nothing useful. It's just a phallic sketch. Ah me. I'm I'm so poggers. Keck W. Pip pig. Am I right, guys? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm I yeah I'm a disappointment. I know. Your name is written underneath. A self-portrait, perhaps. <laughs> uh, I'm just the most massive PP there is. Oh, and the number 57 is written on the corner, but you don't recognize the handwriting. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. The channel. Maybe it's the channel uh, for the TV. Let's go downstairs. All right. I remember that the TV had a channel a channel option. I'm sorry if I'm not saying anything properly. Oh, my God. That is very tr that's a trippy scene. All right. So. 50... Seven. Oh no. Run away. Oh, hi! What? What was that? Why was that? Oh, noises! What? Hello? What happened? I'm confused. It showed it showed like a, a negative image of something. It, it was one of these doors, wasn't it? I am so confused. I am very confused right now. Help! What is this? Oh, that's cool. Okay. That doesn't really do much, but thank you. There's light now. That's always nice. Light equals nice any time of day. Okay, I did look this one up because I have no clue why it's 19. I probably find it later on. But apparently going to channel number 19. Again, I did look this up because I was stuck for a while. I don't really know why it's 19. I'm probably jumping the gun over here. But pressing 19 apparently gives you the front door key. Okay. Oh look, it's a front door key. It must have fallen from the sky, apparently. All right, I guess we just have the front door key now. I think we find it later on, or the number at least. I, I think I I shouldn't have looked it up, but I did, and I didn't want to pretend that I didn't look it up, so I just thought I might as well do that now. Also, apparently, going 
using the spatula on this particular door for some reason. What is such a drawing? The strange material seems thinner here, like it's coming up in the walls. Okay, I think she'll interact with every single door and find out which one it is. So, using the spatula here, we can scratch out the wallpaper or something. And it shows an actual door. How or why is beyond me, but apparently it exists. Look at that, a bloodstained door, which leads to somewhere. Something smells delicious. Okay. There's a small amount of rubbish lying in the bin. Pick it up. Sure, why not? Come on by. Let's go. It's a rubbish party. I am rubbish prime. I am the most rubbishest rubbish rubbished ever. You can just about see a crumpled piece of paper through the oven door. Pull it out. Let it out. Oh, that does not sound like paper. That sounds like, um, uh, zero one. That killed me last time, zero one. Through the dim screen, there appears to be some kind of blue squirming mass. You couldn't guess what it is, but it smells fantastic. The door is locked tight, but the power is on and the button seems to be working fine. Turn on the microwave. Let's go. How long to kick it for? Oh. Okay, zero one. I need to find the other note. All right, that makes more sense. Okay, what if I um, you just use a special on the other doors? It looks like a door was just a drawing. Okay, so I found zero one. Where do I find the rest? All right. Okay, this, this is interesting. All right, trying to find where this uh, the other thing goes. Uh, I have a toothbrush as well. Might help freshen your breath. Already did that. But what was the point of freshening my breath? I don't get it. Oh, there's no way out. There's a thick crust of dark veins running down the wall. What is this stuff? Your head hurts. Can I remove the thick crust of dark veins? I can remove the thick crust of dark veins. Look at that. I am strong with 36 C's. No, K's. C and K's. That makes that a lot of things. Anyways, with this sturdy tool, you might be able to scrape through the wall. You should be getting outside soon. Although it's already too late. You've been up and about for a while now, and what a stressful day. It's a pretty flim flimsy spatula, come to think of it. You probably shouldn't bother. Don't bother. Give it a shot. Let's do it. Why not? Fine. But you're wasting your time. Okay. I don't like the noises. The noises are really nice and they do add to the environment, but uh, they're horrifying. After a lot of work, you finally managed to scrape away the last of your strange wall strange wall material. Uh, underneath is your front door. Looking at it makes your head hurt. After all that effort, you're quite exhausted. Maybe you should take a rest. Watch some television. Have a nice sit down. You can always head outside later. Okay. Oh well, you should turn back. But I have the front door key. Your heart is racing, you feel dizzy, maybe this isn't such a good idea. You're trying to remember what you wanted, why you ever wanted to leave, and frankly, you can't think of reason. Alright, this has agoraphobia in it. You should stay inside. I need to leave. Oh. You start the key into the lock and it turns in, and it turns it with a click. Your head hurts. The door is unlocked. You don't want to go outside. You want to stay here. Well, the door is unlocked. Looks like it's time for some lovely fresh air. What? Why can't I go outside? You know, it certainly is cozy in here. Why would you ever want to go outside anyway? That is true. It's cozy, but also outside is also nice, right? Really? You still want to go outside? I need to get out. Look, you don't know what you're thinking. Clearly, you're confused. It has been an awfully difficult day. You need rest. You need a lie down. Your hair is a total mess. You haven't eaten a thing. Don't go outside. Maybe try again tomorrow when you're feeling better. Let me out. Wait. Please, just think about this. You can't leave. You're not ready to leave. You have nothing. You are nothing. 
there is nothing for you out there. This is your home. It's where you belong. Don't go outside. It's time to leave. Okay, why is that red? Oh, that is so red. Oh my gosh, is this hell? It might be a metaphor for hell. You never know. Oh. And I repeat the same thing over and over. Oh dear, that didn't go very well, did it? Yeah, yeah, I uh, saw some red stuff, probably ketchup or hot sauce. Tabasco is a good hot sauce. I mean, flavor-wise, it's pretty cool because vinegar is an awesome taste. I do really like really hot stuff. Anyways, but that's beside the point. At least you tried. Not, not that it's worth anything. You can't lie. You can't say that I didn't warn you. Did it just loop around? Maybe some things just aren't that simple. But don't worry. Try again tomorrow. What? That was not the end? Oh. Okay. Well, that's it. That's the game. Hope it wasn't too disappointing. Let's see how you did, shall we? It took you an hour and 31 uh, minutes to finish the game. You died a total of four times. That's because I did this in one run. If it was last time, I would have done like, I would have died like 14, ti 14 times. You succumbed to 14 out of, four out of 70 possible deaths. I died like five other times in the last one, so I'm gonna say nine or something, I don't know. I died a lot. You found 49 to 17 items. You spent a questionable amount of time rummaging around in pins. <laughs> it took you far too long to figure out how uh, to, uh, how doors work. You had nine hours playing video games and you didn't even beat your high score. You didn't find the secret, you didn't find the secret ending. You didn't, un you didn't unlock the rocket launcher. You were lazy. It took you a long time to get this far. You can't have been, you can't have been trying this hard. You are cowardly, indecisive, weak-willed, pathetic, really. You didn't push yourself much and change your mind a lot. You were boring. You didn't really experiment much, and you kept all of your thinking firmly inside the box. You must not be much fun. Basically, you're not a good person, and everything you've done is pointless. I guess this is just. I guess this isn't just a very happy ending. But thanks for playing. Oh. All right. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. No music. Oh, there is music. My volume was just below. My volume. My volume. My volume was just low. Um, that's intriguing. I want to see the secret ending. I I can't speak. Oh, it hurts. It hurts to speak right now. I did not expect it. My cheek to hurt this much. Anyways. I want to see the actual, uh, the, the, the secret ending now. I won't do it in this episode because it actually, I didn't expect my cheek to hurt this much. I guess the boil's not f fully gone. Ow. Um, okay. That really does, in a way, show agoraphobia and depression. Quite a bit. I can attest to that. It really does. It shows it in a very very cool way good luck out there not try not to be hard on yourself that is true don't be so hard on yourself and you deserve all the luck and support in the world because you are good and what is that noise my volume is too high now okay anyways i'm gonna end the video here for now but i might play it again to find the secret ending i don't know if the game was just trolling me or there's an actual secret ending and i want to try get it so i'm going to end it over here for now but i will play it again um probably tomorrow because uh i <laughs> i'm very curious what the secret ending is and my cheek hurts like heck so i don't want to keep playing because it really does hurt a lot wow Anyways, I'm going to end the video over here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And just know that you're loved, appreciated, and you always have support. Um, you're amazing, as always. Thank you for being that. And know that it's okay to be easy on yourself for once in a while. You don't have to be hard on yourself. You're just going through life just like everyone else. And it's totally okay to make mistakes and to feel. Alright. Take care, guys. See you in the next video. Goodbye.